to South Metro Fire. I'm here today to talk about cooking safety. As you can see, we have some problems in this kitchen and we gotta fix them. The first problem is, look at this pan handle. Totally something that I can bump into or a kid could grab and pour hot oil or whatever you're cooking food on them. So we always wanna make sure this handle is going in. Now, a lot of us, it's cold. We have scars, we have long necklaces, we have big bulky sweatshirts. It needs to be either pushed up and we need to take this stuff off when we're cooking. We really do not want to have ourselves get burned by all of our stuff that's on. So push up those sleeves, wear short sleeves. Let's make sure that we're really safe. Now, look at all this stuff I have here. Of course I'm cooking, I'm gonna have lots of stuff, but I wanna have a nice safe zone. Part of that safe zone has to be a three foot area for kids and then all this other stuff, let's get it out of the way. Some of us really like to have that towel nearby. Again, I'm getting it out of the way though. So now I'm down to what I'm actually using to cook with, a lid, and the oven mitt. So I have a kitchen fire. I wanna get it out quickly. I'm gonna put on the oven mitt. I'm gonna get this, pretend like I'm a knife, it's a shield, and I'm gonna come over just like this. And I'm gonna put that on and make sure that I am just going to move it over to a cooler burner and turn this burner off. And that's how you're gonna put out a kitchen fire safely. So just remember, clear out your space. Have a kid-free zone, get that lid on it, move it to the cooler burner, turn off the burner that you're using. Let it sit there for a while, and everything will be good. Great. What if you don't have a lid that fits the pan? Always get a cookie sheet, and you can put it right on. Same exact situation that we wanna do. We just wanna make sure that we have something that is able to cover it. So if you don't have a lid that fits, Get a cookie sheet, use that. Again, move it over to that other burner, turn off this burner, get rid of that heat source. So the question is, what do you do if you still can't get it out? If you can't put this fire out, the best thing to do is to get out of the house, go to your neighbors, call 911. Let the fire department and the professionals come in and put out that fire. Let's save your home. So what do you do if you're cooking and the doorbell rings? Well, I'm going to make sure that while I'm baking, I grab something and take it with me to the door. Because if I can take it with me to the door, it reminds me that I'm baking still. But of course, if you are using your stove, we want to stand by our pan. We want to make sure that we're continuing to, of course, stand next to it. If the doorbell rings and I'm at my pan, then I'm going to turn off the heat and then go answer the door.